is what I love on the internet. My name is Kevin and welcome back to another video. Okay guys, so this is the first time in a very long time that I've been sitting down like this to film a video. But yeah, we're back. I hope you guys enjoyed all my Christmas videos. If you haven't seen them, I'm gonna leave the playlist link down below and you can go watch them. And for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a what I got for Christmas haul and just showing you guys what I got for Christmas. Now I'm gonna say this and I know I'm going to say it and people are still gonna say it anyways to me, but I am not bragging in any shape or form. I asked, did you guys want to see this? You told me you did. So I'm doing what you guys want to see. I'm not bragging in any way, shape or form. Now I've said that and I know people are still probably gonna think it or dislike the video and be like, he's just bragging, but I'm not bragging any way, shape or form. I am so incredibly grateful for every single thing that I got this year for Christmas. I had such an amazing time with my family and honestly that's the greatest gift of all these things I have here. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I got for Christmas and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, I have split this up into like a few different sections. I have skincare and personal hygiene kind of product section. I have clothing, then I have filming. And then I just have Harry Potter because I got a lot of stuff that's just Harry Potter. <laughs> so yeah, that's the categories I'm going to go with. And I'm going to start with skincare and healthcare, that kind of genre. So of course, I'm going to start with, in this section, a Lush. Because who does not love Lush? Like, honestly, I don't even know if they have this in America. I'm pretty sure you definitely must have. But if you don't, anyways, you need to order some because Lush is like my favourite thing in the whole world. And ever since I've come out now, I can just buy this all the time and have no shame or have to worry about what people think of me using all these products because I can use them now because I'm gay AF. So I can wear and use all these things. So let's just jump into this bag and show you what I got. Everything that's in this bag, I got off my cousin Omar, who got me in the Secret Santa for my... My, my dad's side of the family, he got me in Secret Santa, so he bought me stuff from Lush. I also have something in here that I got from my mother, which was in my stocking. So, yes, let's just jump into this and grab whatever I see first. So the first thing that I have to show is Brightside Bubble Bar, and it looks like this. Which is this cool red, orange, and yellow, kind of bit of pink colour thing. And basically, if you don't know what a bubble bar is, a bubble bar is where you just break off a piece of it, you run it underneath the water when you're putting it into your bath, and you basically get loads of bubbles, and it's like a great bubble bath time. And I've actually already broken off a piece of this, if you can just see how it's not like a circle anymore. And it was amazing. Honestly, guys, this smells... Oh, it smells so good. Like, it's very orangey and just citrusy and stuff and it just smells exactly like a calippo if you are irish or english or american and you know what a calippo ice pop is it's a it smells exactly like that and it also smells like that ice cream i can't remember what it's called but it's like orange and then it has like the vanilla ice cream on the inside it smells like that too it smells so good and the bubbles I got from this was amazing and I only used a small part and I got a huge bubble bath so this is great because it's like everlasting you can use it so many times before eventually it, it will run out and I'll have to order myself some more but yes oh I could just smell this all day and I honestly want to take a bite out of it because it smells so freaking good oh in love with this the next thing I have from Lush is the So White Bat Bomb, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows what a bat bomb is. It's basically, you put it into your bath when you're about to get in, and it will just make the bat a nice color, make it smell amazing. And this is the, what was this one called again? So White Bat Bomb. So, this is what it looks like. It looks like this. It's just basically white, like it says on the name. It's so white, and it has this like green thing here, which makes it very kind of Christmassy. This, it kind of smells apple-y. And I can't even read what it said because it's like all faded now, but it smells very, very like green apple. And I assume that's probably what the green part is. It smells honestly so good. And I'm excited to use this one. The next one I have is another bath bomb and it is the big blue bath bomb. So if you can just picture the white one that I just showed you, this is a blue version of it. And there it is. It's all blue at the bottom and everything and it has the white top. And this, it smells, I don't even, I can't even read it again. Honestly, I don't even know how to explain how this smells. It just smells like 
something you'd wash yourself with. I know that's the worst description ever, but I'm just so bad at describing smells. And this is just what it smells like. It just smells like something you'd wash yourself with. The next thing I have is the thing that I got from my mother that was in my stocking. And that is another bubble bar. And it is the... I don't even know what this is called. I'm pretty sure it's the David Bowie themed one. Um, there was no name on this, so I don't know what it's called. Some, if someone knows down below, let me know what it's called. Or if I know, I'll put it in the description or something. But this is basically another bubble bar. You break a bit off, run under water, and... Yeah, this smells just like soap. Honestly, it just smells like soap. I don't even know what kind of thing it's supposed to smell like, but it just, honestly, it just smells like soap to me. Yeah, soap. The last thing from Lush that I have to show is Mask of Magnanimity. Wow, I just pronounced that very, very wrong. And this is basically a face mask because, as you can probably tell just by looking at me right now, I get a lot of spots and... It's just something I'm really insecure about. And now that I'm out, I can finally start taking care of my skin and everything and not have to feel scared about doing it because honestly, this is something I've wanted to be doing with my skin just for so long, but I've always felt like it's too feminine for me to do and it just it made it very obvious that I was gay and I didn't want people knowing about it. But now that obviously I'm out, I have no shame in doing it. Finally, you can wear face masks and it's just great. This is a very minty face mask. It literally just smells exactly like mint. It feels amazing on my skin. The good thing about Lush is that everything is natural and my skin is extremely, extremely sensitive. Like if you go like that with your finger across my skin and write something, give it about two seconds and it will appear up on my skin. That's how sensitive my skin is. I've, only used, I've used this once already and it works so well on my skin and obviously it's not all my spots are not gonna go straight away so it's gonna take time but I can already see changes and everything and it's just great to see and that I can finally start taking care of it and looking after my skin and it's just great and honestly if you want to try like a mask from Lush, I would highly recommend this. It just smells amazing, feels amazing, and it's a 10 out of 10, would recommend. Okay, so that is everything that I got from Lush, and now there's just a few more things that are like skincare or like that kind of thing, and I have my moisturizer that I got from my mom and my stocking also, and it is Nivea for Men Moisturizer, it has 0% alcohol, which is another thing I need because it's just more natural for my skin, and as I already said, it's really sensitive. So, it just comes like this little tiny bottle. I think my mom just got it to see if it's something I'd like because I've never moisturized before because she knows how sensitive my skin and it just says like reduces skin sensitivity over time. So this is exactly like what I need. And I've just been using this every morning when I wake up, wash my face and every night when I wash my face. And it's just been making my skin feel really good and I can already see changes and that's exactly all I really want. And it's just great to finally see. I'll probably buy like a way bigger bottle of this like the next time when it, this runs out just because I know it's working. So that's great. I also got some aftershave or cologne and it is Day by Jeff Thanks, or eau de toilette, because <laughs> it's in French. And this smells so freaking good. Like, oh, I don't know how to explain it, but it just smells so manly. <laughs> and that's like me, because I love men. And it just smells so amazing, guys. Like, <sighs> and then for the last thing I have is a Lynx body set. It comes with a Lynx Africa body wash and also a body spray. So, this is just going to be something really handy for me and I love Lynx. It's like every guy's favourite type of deodorant in Ireland anyways. I'm not sure about the rest of the world but in Ireland everyone uses Lynx. So this is something that I always get around Christmas time and honestly if you don't get this at Christmas when you're a guy, is it really Christmas? Because this is what every guy in Ireland gets at Christmas time. Like without fail you would definitely get one of these and it's a great present because I hate buying deodorant, like it's the worst thing to go waste money on, but you actually need it, so yeah, so now I don't have to buy one because I have one, so this will last me a while, so yay! So now let's just move on to my clothing section of this video. So the first thing that I'm going to show is a sweater that I got from my cousin Brian who got me in the Secret Santa on my mom's side of the family, and I actually filmed a video of us all open like our funny kind of presents. So this is like the serious present I actually got from him. It is a diesel hoodie or sweater and it's a really, really nice one. Hold on, let me just zoom out. And it's this maroon brownie kind of one. It's really, really nice and it's like a long sleeve one also. 
with really, really long sleeves. And I wore this on Christmas Day, so if you see my Christmas Day vlog, this is what I was wearing. And I honestly really, really love this. It fits me perfectly, and I just love it. And I just knew that if Brian was buying me anything to do with clothes, he would buy me something perfect because he has the exact same kind of fashion sense as I do, so it's great. The next thing that I have to show is another shirt and it is short sleeve shirt this time that I got from my parents and it is a black and red checkered shirt and this is honestly really nice it's coming across really really red on camera but it's not that red in person and it's just such a nice one it once again it fits me perfectly I wore this out recently I really liked it on me it's just such a nice shirt my mom knows my sense perfectly she knows I love checkeredy kind of things so that was a perfect buy for me. Then the next thing that I have is another kind of like sweater, jumper kind of thing. And it is this long sleeve one that has like a, an ocean or like this, a view from like the beach. And it just has this clouds in the sky. And it just says stormy times there in the front. That's what the writing says. And it's just really, really nice. I love these kind of jumpers. I have like a Conor Franta kind of one. I have loads like this and these are like my favorite kind of things to just like wear instead of wearing like a proper hoodie with like a hood and stuff. So yeah, my mother and father got me this. I really loved it and it just feels so soft also, which I didn't point out and it's just amazing. Next piece of clothing that I got is a pajamas because everyone in Ireland gets pajamas too. That's a very common thing for us to get and I'm pretty sure it's something all around the world because who does not love a new pair of pajamas because we all love that comfort when we're in our bed and my mom got me a grumpy pajamas so it has grumpy on it when I opened this on Christmas morning I was like what are you trying to say are you calling me grumpy and she was just like I knew that's what you think of the minute you'd open it but she just got it because she just thought it was funny and she knows I love Disney and she just thought it'd be a really nice pajamas for me it is a long sleeve one also and once again it's coming across really red I just think it's the lights on the camera it just has like these checkeredy bottoms to it which are like blue red white striped kind of checkeredy thing and they're honestly so comfortable I've been wearing them every night in bed so far since Christmas so they need a wash probably and yeah, I'm probably going to put them in the wash straight after this video, actually. The next thing that I got are also stocking fillers. And they were underwear, but funny kind of ones. And these are like king size large portion with like chips and a burger. Honestly, not going to lie, I kind of wish it was chicken nuggets that were on these instead of a burger. But I think that's what my mom was hinting at because she knows my obsession with chicken nuggets. And you guys also know my obsession with chicken nuggets. If I had have got something related to chicken nuggets for Christmas, honestly, I think I would have cried. So I got that them ones, then I also got these ones, which is like very plain black ones. And I feel very awkward showing you guys my underwear right now. So let's just stop doing this. I also got another pair, which I'm currently wearing. So you're not going to see them ones. Let's just move away from underwear because right now I'm just feeling really awkward. And I just got to stop smiling. So let's stop talking about underwear. Next thing that I have in the clothing section is socks. And these are elves socks. I haven't actually opened this or worn them yet. There's literally just... One's that says ho 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 with Santa on it, one with just like Christmas puddings and then one with an actual elf that says best things come in small packages. Next kind of thing that I have that's clothing related and that I got, I got from my friend Jenny and that is an ugly Christmas sweater starting kit and I could have done with this when I was doing my Christmas videos but I will use it next year for my next Christmas videos. Okay so the last thing that I have to show in the clothing section is a new pair of shoes from Vans and I got these from my mom and dad because I really really needed a new pair of shoes and I got these ones which are just a uh, black and white it kind of has a design on the front which I doubt you can see oh you kind of see it there now it has like these kind of designs around it and stuff and they're honestly really nice shoes they fit me perfectly I've really really needed new shoes so I was really happy when I seen these and yeah, I love them. They fit me perfectly. They're very comfortable. I love Vans in general, so A+. The next stuff that I'm going to show you is kind of like miscellaneous items, just because I didn't really have a genre to put these into. First thing would be books, and that's a shocker that there's books in this haul, but I actually didn't ask for any books for Christmas, just because I have too many and I haven't been reading that much lately. But I got off my cousin Denise the Red Queen Duo box set. So it comes with Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard and... 
Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. Now, I was always planning on reading these books anyways because I've heard so many good things about the first book. Haven't heard a lot of great things about the second one. I've heard the series kind of has gone downhill a bit since the first book. I know that my cousin Denise read these recently. Well, she read the first one and she really loved it, so she wants me to read it too. Hopefully, I will love the books just as much as she did so we can, like, fangirl over the books. The other thing that I got that happened like this miscellaneous genre is this mug, which I got from my friend Jenny, which says, I'd rather be sleeping, which is very accurate. It's either I'd rather be sleeping or I'd rather be eating chicken nuggets. That's me. And it just I just love the packaging with this. It came with like a little bauble, came with just like a little love heart that says to and from. It comes with like marshmallows and a coaster. And it's just so cute. I've used this mug as well because it's just so accurate to me because I would rather be sleeping. So yeah. Okay, so the next genre that I'm moving on to is filming. And the first thing that I got on my filming one is from a stocking filler too. And it is a clicker or what did these call I can't remember the name of this oh my god but it's basically just those things that you see in like on a movie set and it just goes click like action or scene it says like production director camera date scene take why can't I remember what these are called? This is going to irritate me so much. I'm going to remember by like the end of the video. The next filming related thing that I got is something you guys cannot see right now because it is a new tripod which you guys are currently standing on right now. This tripod which is a very big box which can't really show and it is by Velbin and it basically looks like that. And that's it right there and that's what you're currently on. I had an old tripod for the camera that I'm currently using which is a Canon EOS 70D but my old tripod could not hold this camera because this camera is a DSLR and it's just too heavy so every time I like tried to like adjust it in a certain angle it would just fall or something like that so I needed a new tripod this one's so much more sturdier and stiff it holds the weight I can like adjust this in certain angles now and it's just perfect. I honestly was so happy when I got a new tripod. I really needed one. So I'm so, so happy that my mom got me this. And it's something that I will use for so long. And it's going to get so much use. So it was a really, really good gift for me. And I'm just so happy I got it. The next thing that I got for filming is a bag for my camera. And this is by Crystal. If that means anything to anyone. I don't know if it does. And basically there's like this strap here at the bottom. You unzip this part here. Wow, I'm really bad at demonstrating this. There's a zip over here, you pull this across and this would be where you would put your camera stuff and this is like all velcro-y so you can like adjust the pockets to fit whatever size you need it to, you can take some out and it's honestly just so good, like I've already put my camera in it, fits perfectly, everything fits in here. It also has more storage at the top and it's like kind of like a backpack inside so you can put like SD cards, oh it actually has SD card slot right there. Once again it's going to get a lot of use out of it so it's something I really needed as well because I haven't had a camera bag for my new camera. And it's just going to make travelling and bringing my camera along with me a lot easier and it's just something that I really needed and it's so useful so I'm so thankful that I got this. The final thing that I got in my filming section is something that I had been saying that I would like but I never actually thought they would get it for me and I'm so so incredibly grateful to my mom and dad and my sister because she went in on this with my parents because it was so expensive and I have a Christmas day vlog of me opening this particular present and if you guys want to see that you can watch my Christmas Day vlog down below which I'll leave linked down below of me opening this and my genuine surprise at seeing this because I was honestly so amazed that they got this for me I was so thankful I'm so excited to use it and I'm just going to show you guys what it is and that is a drone and it is the Alpha drone and I could not believe that my parents and my sister got me this like I'm so, so excited to use it and it's just going to be so great. I'm going to get so much cool shots for my document your lives and stuff. I'm just so excited to start traveling to places and just use it because it's going to look so cool. And the footage I'm going to get with this is just going to be so amazing. And I'm just so, so excited to use it because oh, I, just, I cannot believe I got one. And I'm so, so thankful for it. Honestly, like I, I would have been happy just to get this. That's it. I can't even believe I got all this other stuff because this is not something that's cheap. So I am so amazed and thankful for getting this. And they know that because I've given like a billion hugs and kisses. They know that I'm obsessed that they got me this. I haven't actually used it yet because I'm terrified to crash it. So 
I will finally figure out how to use it and then I'll have footage. It'll probably be in my next documentary life. So if you want to see footage, look out for my next documentary life. So the final part of this, like what I got for Christmas haul, is Harry Potter because I got a lot of Harry Potter themed things this year. First thing would be from my cousin Denise and her family, and that is Fantastic be somewhere to find me Newt Scamander's journal that's in the book. It's an exact replica of it and I I'm obsessed with this. I am obsessed with New Scamander ever since the movie Fantastic Beasts. It has like this part you pull back, you open it up then and then it's like a journal. And then at the very front it says property of and it's just so cool. There's also like pictures of her, of Newt when he was using it in the movies and stuff and oh. Oh, I just love this so so much. Next thing that I have are socks and they are Harry Potter socks. They have glitter as well because you know gay as F over here. I'm so excited about these. It has like property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It has the Hogwarts crest here and then there's another one that just says HP and it has like the golden snitch. Oh, I just love socks and the fact they're Harry Potter socks just makes it all the better. Next Harry Potter related things I got I got from my friend Jenny and they are Harry Potter baubles. Yes, baubles. And they're of all four of the houses. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw. I'm honestly obsessed with these baubles and they were on my tree. I took them off my tree just to show you guys for this video. And I'm so, so happy that my friend Jenny got me these. I'm going to use them every year on my Christmas tree and I just love them. The final thing that I have to show for this whole video and for the Harry Potter section is Harry Potter Cluedo. I got this off my cousin Omar who also got me the Lush products but he also got me this too to go with the Lush stuff. And I have never played Cluedo before. I've played so many games of it now since getting this and I'm obsessed with Cluedo. Basically, if you don't know what Cluedo is, it's basically a person dies and then you have to figure out how they died, where they died, and who killed them. And in this game, you can play up to five people and it's always going to be a Harry Potter character. So it's either going to be Harry Potter, Hermione, Ron, Ginny, Luna, or Neville. One of them are going to die and you're going to have to figure out how they died, who killed them, and where they died. You can die in like Hogwarts, the Hog's Head. The Forbidden Forest, Gringotts, the Ministry of Magic, anywhere like that they can die but like Incendio, Stupefy, uh, Poisoned Mead, stuff like that and then the killers are always Draco Malfoy, Lucius Malfoy, Bellatrix Lestrange, a Snatcher, Fenrir Greyback or Peter Pettigrew. One of them are going to be the killers. I'm quite shocked Voldemort's not in there but however. And yeah, if you have not played Cluedo, I would recommend getting this anyways because it's such an easy game to figure out to play and once you do figure out playing it, it becomes so intense to playing it because you just want to win every time and it's just such, such a fun game. I'm obsessed with this, I absolutely love it and I'm so happy I got it and the fact that it's Harry Potter themed. Okay guys, so that is it for all the stuff that I got for Christmas. I'm so, so thankful for everything that I got this year. I honestly have the most amazing people in my life and I'm just so so happy. I love everyone to pieces, I love everything that I got and I love everything that I give to people and I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas, I hope you guys spent some amazing time with your family because I know I had so much laughs and laughters and I made so many new Christmas memories with family this year. It's been such such an amazing holiday, I cannot wait already for next Christmas. Let me know down below how your Christmas went, what you got for Christmas, what you think of some of the stuff that I got for Christmas, and other than that, I will see you guys all on Sunday for my next video. So goodbye, guys!